Today we're working on a Toyota Prado. Use a plastic lever to remove all three rail covers on each side. Use a socket or socket drill bit to remove the factory bolts from the rail, then remove the rail from the roof. With the rail removed, there should be a factory mount underneath. Remove the factory bolts with a socket or socket drill bit and remove the factory mount. Remove dirt from the rail gaps and silicon the bolt holes. Mounts, mounting brackets, washers, ring washers, and bolts. Put the bolts and washers together and bolt the mounts to the roof through the mounting brackets. Tighten the bolts with a hex key or hex shank drill bit. There are three mounts for each side. These are the wedge tail rails we're going to be using. Secure the rails to the mounts using three bolts and washers. Tighten the bolts with a hex key or hex shank drill bit. Secure uni strut nuts to the rails by hand so they are still loose and line them up perpendicular to the rail. Lower the rack onto the rails so the Unistrut nuts slot into the channels of the rack. Tighten the Unistrut nuts by hand so the rack can still be adjusted if needed. Center the rack. You can measure the overhang to ensure the rack is centered. Finish tightening the bolts with a spanner. These are the wedge tail tie down eyelets, which are an optional accessory. Assemble the four eyelets. Place the eyelet in the position you want and rotate clockwise to turn and lock the nut in place. Continue turning to tighten the eyelet to the rack. 
secure all eyelets to the rails. When installing rubber, which is an optional accessory, try to press one side of the rubber in and twist the rest into position. You may need to cut the rubber to fit the length of your rack.